it up for you guys. Let me sit up. Okay, so hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vibes with Tiara. So y'all, this is gonna be a video about before we get started and I start rambling. Let me go ahead and say like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure your post bell notifications is on so every time that I do post, you are notified. Make sure you're booking and shopping with Tiara's One Stop Shop. Make sure you're following me on all of my social medias. Listen in the description box below. Make sure that post bell notifications is on so every time that I do post, you are notified. And I hope you guys are enjoying Blocktober. But this is another video. So, this video is going to be about my end of the year goals and just things that I want to get done for the end of the year even though it's the end of the year I don't want to stop my my momentum I want to keep my momentum going and accomplish these goals that I do have set for it so yeah I don't want to stop I, just because it's the end of the year I still got what what is this October November December it's still October so we still got a little bit. It's not even the middle of October currently as I'm doing this video. But by the time I probably post this video, it probably will be about the middle of October. So we have October, we have November, December. We got two full months and then a half a month to go to get some stuff accomplished. And just because it's the end of the month, I don't want to stop my momentum. I want to keep it going. I want to make sure that I'm still crushing goals, accomplishing goals doing what I said I wanted to do. With that being said, I need to go over my vision board. So I am doing this video right now in October, but again, I will do an update again in December for Vlogmas. So it'll probably be one of my Vlogmas videos where I just talk about the end of the year, what I've accomplished, what I haven't accomplished. And I might not even tell you that. It just might be something centered around like me pushing through and keeping a momentum. So when the end of, when the end of the year comes and then the first of the year comes, um, you know, I don't have to find that momentum to to keep going. It's already instilled in me. It's already in me that, you know, I'm just gonna keep accomplishing those goals. So I want to go over my vision board. I still have my vision board. It's right over there. And I'm just going to go over my vision board. I'm looking at my phone so that I can see some of the ideas that I do have for you guys. Some of the things that I want to talk about with you guys. So like I said, we got two, month, two months left and we need to be strong. Keep the momentum going. So when the first of the year, like I said, comes, we'll be able to keep pushing through and knocking out those goals. So again, I'm going to go over my vision board and see what all I accomplished and celebrate those. If I accomplished something that I didn't realize I accomplished, I'm going to celebrate it. No matter how big or how small, I'm going to make sure I celebrate those. I like to celebrate small wins and big wins, medium wins. It doesn't matter. A win is a win and I am going to celebrate it. Do something that I enjoy, something that is devoted to me, something that I enjoy. So be like when I celebrate different wins and things like that that's like okay well what can I what can I do now what can I accomplish now so I can get to celebrating again because it ain't nothing like celebrating then we gonna also see what I have it so once I see what I have and what I haven't I'm gonna look at what I have it and see what I can do to see if I can accomplish those goals by the end of the year so it'll be done and then and just because the goal is done doesn't mean that I don't I'm not gonna keep pushing forward to succeed those expectations or those goals or you know keep accomplishing those same goals, okay? So once it is accomplished, depending on what the goal is, you may have to keep maintaining it. So I wanna maintain the goals that is should be maintained. And if it's something that can't be maintained once it's done, it's done. You know, it's done. I did it. So, and then if I haven't accomplished the goal, I'm going to see what I could do for the next year to make sure that goal is accomplished. I don't want to keep putting in goals and things that I want to do and accomplish all each year. I need to go ahead and get it done. Maybe it was something that interfered that I couldn't accomplish that goal. But again, I want to make sure next year is crushed. So I don't have to keep saying I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And it doesn't happen. That's, that's just crazy to me. It's a reason why that goal was on your list. So again, I don't want to keep push, putting it off. It's a reason why that goal was on your list and it needs to be accomplished because that's something that you really want to do. It's the reason why it's on that vision board. It's the reason why it's on your list of goals and you keep thinking about it. 
So another thing I want to do is declutter. I want to declutter my hair roll for my business declutter get some of the things out out with the old and with the new and then in my personal space in my room i need to declutter i need to get rid of some things i'm like a hoarder like i'll be like i might can't fit it now i can fit it later because my weight fluctuates so much one minute i'm smaller medium and i be a little thicky thick so i'll be like i'm gonna keep this or you know i like diy projects so i'll be like well it's big right now i can i can cut it and make it small or you know i can make it look cute it's gone i just gotta declutter and stop holding on to stuff declutter 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 even in my personal my home home i need to declutter get rid of some of the things that i bought that i don't use declutter like of like my storage closet for the main house like i need to declutter some of that get rid of some of the stuff that we just been hoarding keeping in like pieces of tools and unnecessary paperwork i need to shred those and just get rid of some of the clutter that i do have in my house just to create more space because i feel like i'm running out of space in my home and i just feel like it's probably not that i'm running out of space it's because it's because i have a whole lot of unnecessary stuff that I'm hoarding and keeping that I don't need. So declutter. I want to increase my social media following. So I want to increase my social media following on all my platforms. Instagram, Facebook, not necessarily um like Snapchat or anything like that. TikTok. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing one, I'm missing one. But yeah, just all of my social medias. I want to get to 10,000 followers on TikTok. I need to increase my followers on Facebook because that's the one of the that's the only platform at the moment that I get paid from. So I'm gonna continue to increase that. Make sure I am posting consistently. Make sure I am scheduling the content, scheduling content for the past two weeks. Maybe. Doing it maybe longer than two weeks it might be a month that i've been doing it but it has definitely increased my revenue on facebook so i want to make sure that i continue to schedule posts even though if i'm not on air i don't have to be on air i'm still gonna get some type of coin on facebook because i'm scheduling those posts at least four to six posts a day and if i'm adding more in there i'm adding more in there again I need to try to engage, but I don't want to spend too much time engaging. But that is also what gets you more revenue on there by engaging. So every now and again, I want to engage, but I do want to keep consistently posting scheduled posts on Facebook and eventually earn money on another platform like TikTok or YouTube. So again, I want to get to that 10,000 follower mark on TikTok. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep my this is TikTok and my personal TikTok and one like the food that I cook, my hair stuff, all of that, um, my YouTube videos that I'm going to start pushing out and saying like, you know, follow my YouTube page, this, that, and the third. So yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. I think I'm just going to keep it at one because I honestly don't, I don't think I want to maintain and keep up with a second TikTok page. I already have several social media platforms that I have to keep up with. So I'm thinking I'm just going to even though somebody's probably going to be like, no, you need to keep your business and personal life separate. But my business is my life. Like, that's my life. It's it's me. So, yeah, I just think I'm going to combine them all and just have random content. You either follow me for my food posts, both, my hair, uh, whatever I post on there, whatever I choose. So, I think I'm just going to continue and not even just have that one personal um TikTok, I'm going to have my personal and my business because my business already has, the way I like, let me see, I don't even want to throw out a number. It looks like you're oh. standing in it right now. So it's not a lot, but it's over oh. a thousand. So I have 1,700 followers on TikTok right now, and I need that to be 10,000, like even if it's at 5,000 by the end of the year. But again, that goal is 10,000 on TikTok. I'm just going to... I need to start posting it because I have a draft and I have videos in there of not viral TikToks, but um, what is it called? Popular TikToks, things like this popping up on my, my For You page and TikToks of people are doing trending TikToks. That's what I'm looking for, the word trending. So I do have a bunch of trending TikToks that I 
keep in my draft and then by the time I think about yeah I need to post it the trend is over so I'm like it's late why will, why do I need to do it now but uh, yeah I need to increase my followers on TikTok keep posting and scheduling my content on Facebook Instagram I just need to post just period I, I don't even know where to start with that but yeah that because I have a personal and I have a business I'm going to keep my business and personal um Instagram just because I've had both of those for so long and yeah I did say post more I want to work on saving money so saving money is going to be something that I'm going to continue through the whole, the end of the year yeah I know the holiday season is coming up but that doesn't necessarily mean that I can't continue to spend money I mean spend money <laughs> save money that's the problem but yeah I can't continue to save money I started a savings journal if you are following me on TikTok, you will see that I started a savings journal and I have been doing okay with that. So yeah, I want to go ahead and make sure I complete that. I want to complete that no later than the summer, at least by my son's birthday. I need that completed within the next six months. And for me personally, that's what I want to do. Lose weight. So I have, if you didn't hear me, I said lose weight. So lose weight, I have gained... Mm, I think the doctor said I gained like 16 or was it 13? It don't matter. It was something 10 pounds since my last visit last year. No, I don't feel like I'm that, but I just feel like I got a little thicky thick and that's fine. Uh, I do have some health stuff that I do need to get together. And also whenever I do get that, whenever I do lose weight and make those changes in my life, uh know that those health issues are going to subside and not be an issue anymore so that's my goal to get my health better and under control because I have I don't I have I haven't been eating great but I haven't I don't know I haven't been eating too bad but I haven't been eating great to how I used to eat and yeah and I know the holidays is coming up, so like Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of those big party meal holidays is coming up. And so I will still participate in those and do, but I will continue to participate in those and eat and enjoy my food. But when it's not one of those days or that time, I am going to make sure I am doing what I need to do. That also goes into making sure I do my 10,000 steps. I want to make sure I get my 10,000 steps together. I want to drink and increase my water intake. I need to drink water, water, water. I done got to the point where I, I don't drink or complete a bottle of water unless it has my zero sugar powder flavoring in there. I don't even, ugh, plain water is just, I don't know. Something in my brain is just like plain water is killing me at the moment oh bomb do not go there i got like five percent battery hopefully we make it through this video with it so yeah get back on my water i do have my water little jug so maybe i need to pull that back out put some of my mint leaves in there and just i'm gonna make it happen because again i gotta get this health thing that i have going on i might talk about it later i have to fix that like that has to be fixed. I'm not going to take any medication. I'm not a medication person. You'll get on one medication. The next thing you know, you want another medication because this medication has done something to you. I'm not. I'm, they're not about to get me. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. Okay, so this is also, which can go into like my social media um, following increase is they focus more on my work because I am a... I, my job requires me to post so that people can see me the world is so focused around social media and content and things like that I need to stay focused on that I want to do better at making to-do lists and content schedule list each week so that I know go ahead and have my week planned out don't wait till the day comes be like what I'm gonna do today it's already figured out if I have it written down in my phone on a computer somewhere what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it planned out. So it's no question on what I'm going to be doing for the week. It's already planned. Get more organized. That also goes into work as well. And within my regular. My regular life. My personal life. Organize. Just different areas in my life. 
my closet, my dresser, my drawers. Just get more organized in my hair room, organized in life as far as with my content. Make sure that it's organized each week. So, yeah. Stay on my skincare routine. Stop. I need to stop sleeping on my skincare routine. Like, I'll be going strong for like a month. Next thing you know, the month is my skin looking nice and I like it the way it looks and it's it's flourishing and it's doing what it needs to do and then what boom something goes wrong just like now something is going wrong and i will talk about that as well later with my skincare but i am fixing it again i'm back on one of those trips where i do what i need to do and my skin is you know healing and getting back to where it needs to be so i just need to be consistent it's, that's going to be a lifestyle change as well as far as like with my eating and stuff like that. Face needs to be a lifestyle. I need to keep myself in check when it comes to that. Because then I'll be so sad and depressed when something go wrong. I'm just like, Ooh. I call that to my on myself. Like, Tierra, you're doing it to yourself. So who can you be mad at other than yourself? So yeah, that goes to bed. So I work better at night and I get a lot of things accomplished. My husband goes to work at night. So when he's not here, I just be trying to avoid going to bed alone because his work schedule. So yeah, sleeping at night is the worst part because he's he's not in the bed and I'm so used to sleeping next to him. So yeah, that's that. I do enjoy him being gone and being getting stuff done because again, I work very well at night but yeah like i was saying i do enjoy him being gone not saying that I, I don't want him home of course i want him home i want to sleep beside him each and every night but when he is gone during those days during that time i do enjoy him being gone just for the simple fact that i get work done i get so much accomplished like when he's gone everybody's my son is sleep in his room everybody the house is quiet Callie doing what she do so yeah I get a lot accomplished because it ain't nobody no I, ain't, I don't have to be a mom I don't have to be a wife the house is shut down everything is in order now I can focus on this this and this so yeah I get a lot accomplished during the late hours from like 10 to 4 a.m and I need to be sleep I need to be sleep who is up at that time? What am I doing? What am I doing? I am actually working. I do work during those hours. Again, I work very well. My brain starts brainstorming very well. Ideas start flourishing. I don't know what it is about that time of the day, but that is, I flourish very well during those, those hours. And it's insane. But I need to go to bed. I need to make sure... I go to bed. I need to be going to bed. That's all I'm going to say. Go to bed, Tierra. And then I'll call my sister. And she works like third shift. So she, when she's off, she's up all night. And we be talking. We be watching TV together. Oh, girl, go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, so I need to feed my husband because he's about to go to work. So that's what he was Text me about, um, I'm hungry, can we, can we eat? Ready to sit at this table as a family before he goes to work and eat. So, yeah, all I'm going to end this off with is saying that I want to end the year. I want to end this year with a bang. I don't want to lose my momentum. I want to end the year off with a strong mental health, physical health, business health, personal health relationship help mom help like everything healthy so yes that is that that is my end of the year goals it's just to you know keep pushing i don't even think i named or said anything that i would need to stop all of this stuff is stuff that i need to continue through for the rest of the year for not even just next year for the years to come but yeah that's it I just need to, I need to get, you know, just, just keep on it. I just need to keep pushing myself, doing what I'm doing, be better, do better. And 
yeah let's mark out these goals y'all i hope this video motivates somebody and this resonated with somebody to keep pushing yes we are at the end of the year but that does not mean anything we're gonna continue for the rest of our lives we're gonna continue through the rest of the year on to next year and we're gonna keep crushing those goals because why not why not so yeah like i was saying i hope this video helped someone motivated someone gave someone the courage the motivation the push the drive to continue to push through the end of the year so we can get these goals crushed again i'm gonna come back to this goal end of the year list and or conversation in december so yeah we'll be back and we're going to talk about it if you have anything to add to this video anything that you are accomplishing any goals that you have accomplished that you want to accomplish by the end of the year please leave it in the comments below but yeah and let me go spend some time with my man before he has to head off to work i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure your post bell notification is on so every time that i do post you are notified make sure you share this video i hope you guys are enjoying blogtober make sure you're following me on all of my social medias again listed in the description box below if you are in my area make sure you're booking and shopping with tiers one stop shop if you're not and if you are in my area shop 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 Check out my website. Again, everything is listed in the description box below. And as always, thank you for watching.